Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kingster7 here back with another video. Before we get into this video, I want to remind you all y'all kings and queens out there, and I hope you all are having a very, very, very blessed Friday. Before we get into the video, 83.7% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could drop a sub and a like on this video. I'm back with episode number 24, dedicating this to the Black Mama himself. All right, Pete, Kobe Bryant, you are a legend in everyone's eyes. But let's get into this Giants franchise episode. First of all, we got a weekly reward. We're going to view this right now. And we got the Mario Davis, two sacks, an interception, two forced fumbles, one forced fumble recovery, and a touchdown. I mean, one of you guys in the comment section down below called this and said DeMario Davis was indeed going to get Defensive Player of the Week, and he did. Uh, good for him, bro. I mean, he is a little bit on the older side, so he won't really uh, progress much more than he already is at. And we also have some other messages, but let's go down to upgrade players. We got Brian O'Neill, a right tackle. We traded away Golden Tate, who's like a 78 overall right now, and I brought him Brian O'Neill, right tackle. How old is he? He's like, he's like 23 years old, right? 25 years old, so I was a little bit off. Upgrade him, 81 overall. I saw some people, I mean, like, people, like, are still becoming new to this franchise. I saw someone was, like, getting mad at me that I traded Golden Tate for Brian O'Neill. I mean, right tackle is a pretty important position. We want to be able to protect uh, Daniel Jones in this franchise. And Golden Tate, I'd say he's a pretty replaceable player. Now we got Andrew Thomas. Upgrade his power. 78 overall. And also, guys, uh, appreciate all the positivity in the comments as always. The likes. I mean, it seems like the series is not dying out. I really appreciate everything. Lastly, we have Jabril Peppers. He's currently an 83 overall. We're going to put that up. One, he's an 84 overall. Let's see what upgrades he got. Plus one agility, plus two tackling is pretty big. But I also did put out a poll on the community post. If you guys wanted me to start a second franchise on this channel, I've been contemplating, right? If I even want to do it or not. And now I'm thinking about something else. I'm thinking about doing a subscriber franchise because I want to get you guys involved as much as possible because I'm telling you, I think we have a strong fan base for someone that only has a thousand subscribers right i mean every every video we're getting a lot of likes comments we're, we're engaging a lot between each other and i want to have you guys involved in uh, my content as much as possible so uh if you do want to go over to the poll right now i think it's at like 80 something percent of you want to do it that's a, that's a lot right but still 20 percent like one fifth of people don't want me doing another franchise i can't forget about those people saying they don't want me to but maybe me doing a subscriber franchise would change their mind and want me to do it um I, that's i think i'm gonna end up doing a subscriber franchise and then um probably in the next couple of days i'll put out another poll if i'm doing it uh, i'll put out another poll uh giving you probably like five to eight teams maybe of to pick from to be my uh my second franchise team but let's get into in the comments, somebody did want me to bring Devontae Freeman onto the team. That's absolutely no problem for us because he is on the team in real life and he would just be a backup running back for us. We're giving away Jarek McKinnon and I threw in a little six round pick. Uh, in order to get this trade done, I did edit Devontae Freeman to a punter, which makes him 31 overall and the trade should definitely go through and it goes through. We get him from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In this week's matchup, we are faced against the San Francisco 49ers. They have a five and one record and they're traveling to our home MetLife Stadium. This is gonna be a really tough matchup. Let's take a look at the division before we get into this match. We are two games ahead up of the Dallas Cowboys. So even if we lose this, we still will be in first place in division. Let's hope for a victory though. I don't know, it's gonna be tough. Third and six for the San Francisco 49ers on their first drive of the game. I've been running zone against Jimmy G. The first two plays, they ran the football. Oh, Blake Martinez. Oh, that was DeMauro Davis. I mean, Blake Martinez isn't even on this team anymore. I'm thinking about the real-life Giants, but DeMauro Davis had a chance to intercept that, but he just didn't turn around on that play. But, hey, we're going to get the football back, and San Francisco 49ers scored zero points. Saquon Barkley coming out the backfield. I threw it up to him, Saquon. Oh my goodness, I threw out of a sack and I threw an interception. Not a great start to the ball game. Jimmy Ward gets the pick. I mean, that was just really, that's poor. That's poor for me. It's early in the morning, guys, like 8 a.m. as I'm recording this on a Friday. I got no classes on Friday, so Fridays are lit. And we tackle Tevin Coleman in the backfield. Our defense standing strong. Uh, I don't 
I'll go back and look at that play, but I'm pretty sure the 49ers were in a zone. And uh, I didn't really like any of my other options. I didn't see them open. And the same as the 49ers do move early. And they're going to get that penalty call to them. So they're going to lose another 5 yards. And this is basically going to take them out of field goal distance. I'm going to I'm gonna bring the blitz though. To Brill Peppers. I think they're going to run the football again here. To try picking up some yardage. They don't run it up the middle. Jabril with the hit. Forced the inaccurate pass. 3rd and 15. The 49ers are attempting a field goal kick. This is about 50 yard field goal fourth and three 34 yard line the kick is up and that looks to be good and he nails that kick we're down three nothing not too bad after that interception i threw it won't happen again this ball game i promise you guys third and nine forced to pass the ball the 49ers defense is no joke we struggled against the chargers defense and we might struggle today against the 49ers defense we got saquon buckley though wide open pick up the first down saquon and he does just that Third and nine, halfback slip screen. This doesn't, I don't know if this is going to work. Is it going to work? Let me see, let me see, let me see. It is going to work. We got blockers. Everybody went down the field. Saquon Barkley, he couldn't juke out Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman is a world-class uh, defender. Fourth and three. Do I go for it? I got to go for it, right? We're going for it, boys. I'm not scared of the moment. I think we can get this done. I don't know. Let's let's run this. Let's run nice, something nice and short and safe. We either hit uh, Sterling Shepard or Darius Slayton over the middle. Please, Darius Slayton. Darius Slayton open. Safe catch that. He didn't save catch it, but we do pick up the first down. Fourth down conversion. We seem to get better at that every game. Empty backfield on this play. Second and seven. Who's that guy? Leak out at wide receiver. I don't know, but I'm probably going to throw it to Sterling Shepard. I'm going to throw it up to Leak. Leak, I don't know who you are, but I gave you a chance to do something special. Face with another third down. 49ers defense. I'm probably going to say it a lot this game. They are tough on the run. What a throw from Daniel Jones. I safe caught that, but Junior Manning does not get both feet inbounds. I'm probably going to be forced to kick this field goal. The power's there. The accuracy might be there. The kick is up. Graham Gano. It is short. You saw that wind. It was minus. It was uh, 13 miles per hour going downwards. Graham Gano, 55 yard field goal. It's not good. Third and seven for the Niners. Jimmy G has not looked sharp. Neither has their run game. So this is a pretty comfortable situation for our defense to be in. They check it down low, make that tackle. Good job. Jabril Peppers wraps up on Tevin Coleman and we force another fourth down. This seems like it's going to be a battle of the defenses so far. Only three points scored in the first quarter. But who am I hitting? I got Sterling Shepard wide open. Safe catch that do not get blown up. And we get it to the 47-yard line. Good read by Daniel Jones. Great pass. Accuracy. Everything was on point. Some play action on second and long. The blocking is beautiful from our team. Sterling Shepard. The throw on the run from Daniel Jones. Ah, oh, it was just out of bounds. That was to Darius Slayton actually as well. Third and eight. I feel like we've been in these situations a lot this game. Third and long, but we got Sterling Shepard over the middle. Picks up the first down. Third and ten. I might look to take off on the ground using Daniel Jones' legs. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Daniel Jones running. Pick up the first down. I fumbled the football. I literally, I promise you, I literally, I double tapped X. I wish I had, I wish I had um, uh, a controller cam. I double tapped X right there. Daniel Jones fumbles the football. It wasn't even a tough tackle. Daniel Jones not having the greatest of days so far. Hand off to Tevin Coleman. He's going absolutely nowhere. We swallow him up in the backfield. Jabril Peppers has been having a phenomenal game tackling wise so far. In the backfield again. Let's go. That's Xavier McKinney this time. Six rushes, five yards for Tevin Coleman. Third and 13. And we already know Jimmy G has had little to no success passing the football this game. I'm going to drop back in coverage. And that's actually going to be the end of the first quarter. Three to nothing. We are down. They go deep to George Kittle. Yo, that's not a flag. Enough with this, these plays, bro. Enough with these plays. That's not a pass interference. Oh, my God. I didn't even click Y to intercept it. I didn't even click Y to intercept that play. I knew it wasn't a catchable ball. Oh, my gosh. Third and six for the 49ers. I mean, let's not get a defensive pass interference on this play. Maybe we sack Jimmy G, force him out of field goal territory. They hit the flat to George Kittle, and he gets out of bounds shy of the first down. 
The 49ers are going for it on this play. Will they run it? The run game hasn't been successful at all this game. They're going with a pass over the middle. Demario Davis didn't get there in time, but he does. Xavier McKinney forces the ball out. He's had a spectacular game. So many tackles for loss. We already know he's the machine with tackles for losses. And he helped us. Look at this. Strips the ball out or he just threw him to the ground so hard the ball came out. Debo Samuel, or D, I don't know, what did I just call him? I said Debo Samuel, right? He wasn't able to hold on to that play. Daniel Jones, if you don't get points up on the board this play, or this drive, I mean, excuse me. I think I'm going to put Justin Fields in because we saw he had a little bit of success against the Chargers defense. But Daniel Jones does uh, scramble for 11 yards. When the run isn't working and the passing plays aren't there, you go to the halfback slipstream to Saquon Barkley. You got to put in football, you got to put the ball in the hands of your playmaker, Saquon Barkley. Another insane juke. Figures of 11 yards in that play. Third and long, the theme of this game so far. I don't know who I'm going to hit right here. Evan Ingram, wide open, safe catch that. Evan Ingram, safe catch that. He holds on to the football. Beautifully placed ball from Daniel Jones. You know, when his receivers get open, he hits them the majority of the time. Who could get open on these slants? Darius Slayton. Oh, it's in the direction of X Factor Richard Sherman. But Darius Slayton comes up with that catch somehow. Daniel Jones put faith in his top receiver and it paid off. Daniel Jones back to pass. Evan Ingram wide open over the middle. Safe catch that Evan Ingram into the end zone. And we go up 7-3 in this ball game. It's been a low scoring affair so far. Neither quarterbacks have gotten in a real groove because both defenses are just playing spectacular so far. And look at this. Beautiful kick. Bang. Accuracy power right down the middle. Graham Gano could count on him almost every single time. Jimmy G, another handoff, and we put him in the backfield again, Tevin Coleman. That's Xavier McKinney yet again, and forces a third and five. Xavier McKinney, third tackle for loss on this game so far. Third and ten, we could get the ball back before the second half ends. We do have two timeouts also to make some magic happen. Over the middle, George Kittle, he cut it back. What a tackle from James Bradbury. Did not allow George Kittle's momentum to go forward for a first down. It's fourth and one. Are they going for it again? They did go for fourth down earlier on in this game. Two minute warning hits and we'll see what they decide to do. The 49ers are attempting a field goal. The field goal is up and it is not good. I can't believe that guy missed. That was a really short field goal for this guy. I mean, he he, he better get cut after this game because we're about to go down this, this whole entire field. We're going to score a touchdown on this play. What I tell you, Junior Manning catches the ball. He's got so much space to go. Ah, oh, he's so slow. He got caught up by number 20, who's at Jimmy Ward. I mean, I, I called a touchdown on that play, but we got pretty close. Third and five. We are pretty safely in field goal territory, even if we don't convert on this third down. But we do have Junior Manning. No way I got hit as I threw, and it ends up being another interception. Six seconds left in the first half. What does Jimmy G have? Does he even have the arm to throw this all the way down the field? He heaves it up. Xavier McKinney make the catch. Oh, I almost picked it off, but it gets batted down. And we're going into first half, or we're going into the second half with a 7-3 lead over the San Fran 49ers. Another interception. Oh, I'm playing so bad right now. I'm playing so great defensively, offensively. I couldn't be having a worse game at quarterback. Handoff, Tevin Coleman up the middle. He gets into the end zone. He does get into the end zone. We are going to be down 10-7. to And I think a quarterback change is coming. Justin Fields, first pass of the game. We got Evan Ingram over the middle. And he picks up close to the first down. Can Justin Fields pick up this first down? We got Evan Ingram again. That Fred Warner can't keep up with him. Seems like the quarterback change hasn't, uh, hasn't impacted the game too much. We are faced with a third and eight here. Who do we got? I'm hitting Junior Manning, and that was almost another interception. Jabril, make a big play here. Tackle him in the backfield for a loss. Look at this. They have to be running this football. There's no way they pass it. Jimmy G, you going to snap the football? He does snap it. They're passing it. Oh, they hit the backfield to Tevin Coleman, and he picks up the first down. I, I mean, I could have swore they are running it right there. 
Tevin Coleman with the hit with the the stiff arm and Tevin Coleman has found the the machine in him the engine in him something lit him up at halftime and he's coming out here in the second half looking like a different beast Xavier McKinney I'm controlling him or tackle for a loss machine can he come through with another one and he does just that Xavier McKinney four tackles for losses in this game and he brings it to a third and 11 I think our defense could definitely uh, force the 49ers to punt on this play I don't think they'll pick up the first time we're gonna go in zone coverage it's been effective let's move Tompkins over here already on to be in position over the middle I got everything covered I got everything covered I still got everything covered no, the receiver came back on the play. How do we not get pressure on the quarterback right there? That's just pathetic. He had like seven seconds in the pocket to throw that ball. They hit the hat. The Tevin, they, I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed. Tevin Coleman brings it all the way to the 18-yard line. All Madden just kicked in the second half, and they're kicking my butt right now. Empty backfield, second goal for the 49ers. Over the middle, the running back, Tevin Coleman, and he gets into the end zone. It's going to be down 17-7. to After giving up only three points in the whole first half, he's giving up 14 points in the third quarter alone. I hope you didn't click off the video just yet because this game is not over by any means. I still have faith in Justin Fields or Daniel Jones, whoever is at quarterback to lead this comeback. Justin Fields steps up in the pocket. We're going to scramble with him a lot more. That's the only way to beat these teams. That uh, They stop Saquon Barkley and they run a zone on us. Justin Fields over the middle. Who's that? Darius Slayton. There we go. Let's get it going. Let's go no huddle on them as well. Let's run. What, what play am I liking here? Let's run a little play action jailbreak screen to Junior Manning. What are we thinking? We got the both blockers. Junior Manning gets to the outside and he picks up another solid 13, 14 yards. Justin Fields, 4, 5, 41 yards. Evan Ingram over the middle. Safe catches that to the 25 yard line. We're going to continue with this no huddle. It seems like the 49ers have no answer for us. Let's go with another play action. Let's send Darius. No, I didn't want to run that kind of play. I just switched the, the play I wanted to send. Or at, at this play, we can actually send um, Darius Slayton on the streak. Let's run this play action. Come on, what are we seeing? I'm seeing nothing. I do see Sterling Shepard safe catch that get out of bounds. Pick up a couple yards right there. Justin Fields makes some magic happen. We scramble up in the pocket and we slide to the 14-yard line. Justin Fields back to pass. I'm going to come up in the pocket. Let's run to the outside. We break one tackle. Just get out of bounds. Don't fumble it. He doesn't fumble it, but we pick up no yards right there. And we're forced to kick a field goal. The field goal, of course, is up, and it's good. 17 to 10 ball game. A slam play to Debo Samuel. He breaks one tackle, and James Bradbury gets him to the ground, but he does get to the 45 yard line. We need a play from our defense, an interception, a turnover, anything we can get. This game cannot turn into a two possession ball game. San Francisco over the middle, quick hit, and I big hit him, but he's able to hold on to the football. Over the middle, George Kittle picks up another first down. George Kittle has been killing us. And look at Jimmy G, 21 of 26 on the day. Over the middle, touchdown to Debo Samuel. And we're down two touchdowns, two scores in this game. It seems like it's over. I'm just really upset with uh, overall my performance. I had four turnovers with Daniel Jones. A zero with Justin Fields, though. Is that... Well, what does that say? Like, I mean, I definitely did make some bad throws with Daniel Jones. But, I mean, four turnovers with one guy and zero with the other. I don't know. I want, I want to keep Daniel Jones. Um, this 49ers defense is very good. I'm, I'm probably Daniel Jones is a starter moving forward. I'm not holding this against him. Fourth and three. This play could end the game or any hopes and chances of us winning the game. But we do hit Evan Ingram open over the middle. It's called a timeout. A minute 54 left. Justin Fields back to pass again. Do we have anybody open? We don't. We're scrambling out with Justin Fields. Look at all the space he has to run. Gets it out of bounds. A minute 28 left on the clock. Over the middle, Saquon Barkley on third and 14. Let's keep going with a little bit of no huddle, whatever. I mean, probably should have called timeout. I was being smart. But obviously, I haven't been smart this whole entire football game. Sterling Shepard over the middle. Almost into the end zone. Let's call another timeout. All right, Justin Fields, get us a consolation feel-good touchdown. 
Evan Ingram back of the end zone snags another touchdown his second of the game he's been the one bright spot so far in this game I mean Justin Fields hasn't been too bad either we'll evaluate the stats at the end of the game and that is the ball game 24 17 loss to the San Francisco 49ers I mean we always knew it was going to be tough they are five and one now six and one on the season season two of the save we move to four and three still a positive record still first in the division so it's not all negatives to take away from this game itself let's take a look at the player stats the quarterback stats by these stats we probably would have won the game justin fields 14 completions 16 attempts 123 passing yards one touchdown zero interceptions i mean guys I might have to de I might have to give Justin Fields a full game start if I'm being honest. Uh, we couldn't run the football. That was the problem. We you know we we really do struggle against teams when we cannot run the football. Saquon six attempts, eight yards. It was just really really bad the whole day. Uh, Evan Ingram stood out. Seven rece receptions, 103 yards, and two touchdowns. He was really really good today. Defensively, Jabril had a good day. 12 tackles, tackles for loss. Xavier McKinney was a demon. Four tackles for loss for him. Two for Jabril and quarterback sacks. We had none. We could not get pressure on the quarterback, which was bad. And the interceptions, we had none as well. Guys, um, I'm sorry for losing this game. I know you guys told me not to apologize when losing, but I feel bad because I think this was a winnable game. Um, if I didn't have two, I had four turnovers in this game. You got to keep that in mind. I did not play good at all. You guys can roast me in the comments, whatever, but be respectful. Don't be like, yo, you can suck. You're a piece of, you know what I'm saying? Relax, guys. You know, it's just, it's just a video game at the end of the day, you know? Uh, but, guys, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure to drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, Kingstar7, and I'm out. Peace.